can never ever find the right words and there's no way this is real life there's no telling you What's up guys, welcome back to welcome back to another video. In today's video, we're actually heading out to Showman Motors. I'm here with my brother. Huge shout out to him. He's gonna be coming with me driving the 135 back. So apparently the car is good. Sweet, this is the first time I'm getting the news, so. Yeah, he doesn't know that. So I basically I took it out of Showman for a boost leak and I couldn't I couldn't figure out what it was. He said uh, the downpipes were the reason there was a sound and was also uh, throwing a check engine light which pretty much cuts off the turbos and you cut out boost. It's not because of the downpipes that it's leaking boost. So he, then he found something else. So we're about to go down to the shop, figure out what that was exactly. But the car he says he pushes 120, no check engine. It's boosting really good. So I'm really happy about that. I thought I messed up the car or something, but thankfully everything's good to go. All right, so yeah, I guess we just need to go pick it up. Yep. All right, let's get it, boys. guys so we just arrived here and again showman's shop um hopefully pick it up yep i see the 135 right there hopefully everything is graving the navy with it all right so you guys showman's m5 right here we have another m3 and then of course the swap one where is showman at where is my man it's sharif actually all right so we just got the car back from sharif my man right here so uh finally i think everything's graving the navy right so you said we removed the downpipes. He found that weird sound. I got my exhaust work done recently and the vacuum hose isn't actually connected, right? Yes, sir. So uh, he found that leak and we're gonna hopefully take it down the exhaust shop, get that thing sorted. That should fix the sound issue. In terms for the power loss, let's go ahead and give it a drive. Well, look at this. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Fancy. I, I, honestly, I don't know. This is real fancy. Now I appreciate that. I mean, this car's 145,000 miles. <laughs> he needs to put it on his classics, but yeah. Oh, it pulled so much. <laughs> Shout out to him. He definitely found the issue. And it literally feels like night and day. And to think, actually, so, I, we'll actually tell you guys all the details later, but again, bro, he shout out to you, my guy. All right, guys, so we have the 135, and everything's looking A-OK, -okay, which I'm super happy about, and uh, boosted, it's boosted, the car literally feels amazing, super happy, he went ahead, and basically he found the leak, there was a vacuum leak, he fixed that, and then he also fixed the downpipes, so everything's good to go, uh, which is perfect, so now it's boosted, everything's good with the car, I was really afraid there, I may have done something really bad when it's on the downpipes, or maybe I did something wrong with the tune, but uh, no, uh, thankfully everything was good to go, it was, I installed the downpipes, wrong and uh you know everyone you know i'm not a professional for those of you guys who watch me and criticize me just know that i'm not like i'm not claiming that i'm a mechanic i'm not claiming that i'm you know i'm just like you guys i work in my garage and you know i try i try to like there's a cop like right here like wow and i just try my best you know like i enjoy building cars just like you guys so you know if i mess up you know don't 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 judge me like that like if you guys were to mess up on your cars do you guys post it no you know i post it just for the fun and uh, you know, it's just an adventure and you know, if, if, if it goes bad, it goes bad. We, we live and you learn and we fix it. So that's life. Anywho, so uh, I need to turn on the AC. It is actually really hot in this car. Oh my God, black leather interior, oof. All right, so next stop, we're gonna be stopped by the exhaust place because he just told me that the, the there's a leak in the exhaust right where the mufflers are, right where the tips are, and I got that welded on. So, you know, I gotta take that back and get that sorted out. See you guys at the exhaust shop. It's a specialized exhaust. They need to basically just weld that valve hole shut and that should be able to like take away that noise. That's like a weird suction noise that's going into the exhaust. Yeah, let's just pull up and uh, hopefully they'll take care of us. Guys, I am a sucker for an F-150 right now. Like, oh my God, this is the Platinum Edition too. This is just gorgeous, gorgeous. We are here, boys. All right, guys, so we just got done. They just welded up the exhaust pretty quick and easy. So uh, let hope to God everything is fixed because, you know, that, that's the goal when building a car, you know? You want to make sure everything is gravy in the Navy, my little baby. All right, guys, so we just made it back home from the exhaust shop, and they welded up the exhaust, and it does turn out it was the exhaust. So thankfully, everything now with the car, no service engine, no check engine, no boost issues, no nothing. Back to original cats, back to original intakes. This thing should be able to pass smog as well. So I'm probably going to go ahead and smog it, but, um, so... Another thing we're gonna have to go ahead and do is just remove these wheels and tires. You guys know I'm selling the car. Just trust me, I have a plan. It's just, 
it, it, it does make me sound confused. It does make me, I, I saw a comment one of you guys right up here and uh, you basically asked me why do I look like I'm confused? I don't know what I'm doing. The thing is, I do have a plan but I didn't really think I would have to sell this car and some other things you guys will have to find out in a near video. But this is all part of a plan, all part of a process to better myself, to better the channel. You guys know for everyone in life, it's it's important for growth. It is absolutely important for that. And that's something I'm trying to work on myself. Now, I'd love to tear this car apart and drive it and do some insane things with it. But that's just not what my channel is about. I personally just love and enjoy building cars. I need the money for another project. Again, Guys, I have this huge plan. Bear with me again. December is coming up, guys. Bear with me. Without further ado, let's go ahead and remove all four of these wheels because I want to put on some black ones and these ones have to go to a new owner because these ones are mint and they shouldn't be going with the car. So VMR rims, Goodyear tires. These tires are the uh, the Eagle Exhilarates and um, yes, these are like race track tires and at the same time, again, daily drivable. And I also believe these are all seasons as well. So again, really good tires. These wheels are literally brand new. So again, if you guys want them, link down down below. I don't think I'm walking to 18 inch in any of my other cars. These are 18 inches. I'm probably gonna be going with 19s and 20 on this next build, maybe even 21s. So unfortunately, I am gonna be letting these go. So they are gonna be on my Instagram. They are gonna be on my offer up. They are gonna be on my Facebook. I'm gonna be trying to sell them for around 1200 with the tires. So let me know if you guys are interested. Without further ado, let's go ahead and take them off. Oh yeah, I completely forgot guys. Um, I actually painted my E46 rims. So uh, let's cut into that footage right now. On. All right, guys, car is definitely gonna be needing a wash, but these rooms look a lot better when they're actually in black. Obviously, these rooms are nowhere as clean looking as these because obviously, if these were uglier, I would have put them on the car. These are absolutely gorgeous. Again, look at the tread, guys. Literally brand new. So, um, gorgeous, gorgeous setup right here. The concave in the rear looks so freaking good. And also, just to show you guys how new this is, and you guys know how new it is. Check this out. I even have the original VMR center cap, which I actually looked up. These things run $100. I had to get this separately. I actually reached out to the company, and uh, they actually got me these out. But these run like an extra $100 just for the center caps, and they're really nice quality. So, um, yeah, instead of the BMW ones, I'm going to be throwing in these ones. Um, but, of course, if you guys have your original BMW ones and you want your BMW ones, you just put them on there. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and clean this up, take a picture of it, put it online. All this money is gonna be going towards the next build, guys. Again, hashtag save BMW. We're out here. The goal is to save BMWs. So we gotta get another one to rebuild, hopefully. We haven't got a rebuild in literally forever, so we're doing it, boys. I'm also gonna be putting up a little store on my website. So check out my website down below. I'm putting up a little section for used car parts. Basically, anything that I have on my cars that I don't want to sell with my cars, or it's pretty much illegal to sell with the car. Not illegal, but like it's I can't pass it with smog i don't want to just sell the car and be like oh, here's a couple you know down pipes in the trunk or the tunes in the trunk i'm gonna be like hey i'm gonna sell to you guys for literally like 25 percent off for 30 or even 40 percent off market value i'm putting up in my store and you guys know the pretty much the things i use i don't abuse they're all pretty much in brand new condition so if you guys want any of those things there's gonna be a link to the store down below those are everything that i can actually ship out obviously stuff like this i'm not gonna be shipping it out locals only but if i haven't sold these by tomorrow which is when this video is going up make sure to hit me up if you guys want these rims i'll be selling up around twelve hundred dollars they are basically new actually it's better than new because if you think about it it's already mounted rotated balanced and you got new tires on these rims so you pretty much can just throw it on your car and you're ready to go and just to prove to you guys that it's not about you know the money or anything like that it's it's really about building cars on this channel i'm not selling this car until i'm a hundred percent content with the car which means I usually always sell my cars when they're actually in great condition because I don't I, morally I don't want to sell a car when there's something or you know try to hide something I don't do that stuff so this car in terms of gaskets and everything it has brand new brakes and rotors drill slotted rotors it has the serpentine guard all new pulleys belts all new fluids um, oil new oil pan gasket new engine mounts new oil filter housing gasket but the only thing is the valve cover the valve cover is leaking and actually it's cracked so if I if if I just sell it off to the next owner, the next owner probably wouldn't know. And then after a couple hundred miles, he's gonna realize he gets the check engine light. He's gonna be like, oh my God, I have to take that out of the shop. A shop would typically charge $1,500 for a job like that, especially if the valve cover's cracked. I think it's an extra $300 part. So it'd be an $1,800 to do that job. I'm gonna go ahead and do it because I know it costs me around $300. 
from FCP Euro, I believe three to four hundred dollars roughly for like an OE part. And if I want to go with OEM, it's like six hundred. But I'm gonna go ahead and do it just for the fact that whoever that gets this car, I want them to have a really nice car. And I really hope it's up to one of you guys because I really want to make sure that the, those of you guys who are supporting me is getting a car that is worth buying on the used market. All right, guys. With that all being said, uh, make sure to check out that website down below if you guys are trying to cop any used mods. Also, uh, any mods that are purchased will be coming out with some like free jet tags and lanyards and things like that. I'll have it in the description as well so you guys will know what you're getting. If you guys are getting a smoking good deal. I get hooked up by the companies I work with, so I would like to also hook you guys up. But without further ado, guys, we have so many plans. Rebuild coming soon. This car is going to be getting the full amount of treatments pretty soon. And the 435, we actually have a mod. Probably next video. Sick little mod. Smash the like button if you guys have enjoyed these videos. And without further ado, guys, I love y'all so much. Remember to stay humble. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace out. Yeah, yeah, let's go I ain't the first with the curse With the thirst that I wanna be better Not worse, man, it hurts I'm on this earth with my words And I put them all together in cert Cause I wanna have worth